thing, man. Young hood, you motherfucking me hyper homo transsexual, quadruple homosexual, peon faggot ass, punk ass, nigga. What type of nigga hate on another nigga feeding his team and his family? What type of nigga hate on an artist? sharing opportunity with the young artists in the rap game to trying to get somewhere and also helping the artists on his record label at the same time. First of all, what type of bitch ass nigga pocket watch another rapper from a different city that's independent while your pussy ass is using motherfucking Birdman money, 300 money and all the white folks money for you to even be successful and you still ain't get a platinum motherfucking song, I mean a platinum album until you did a goddamn fun with J. Cole pussy ass nigga. You ain't getting no motherfucking checks like me, boy. Every month for the rest of your life, my whole labor, nigga. All my niggas touch over six figures every two, three months, nigga. Four months, nigga. The fuck is you saying, boy? Yeah. You didn't you just motherfucking say that because of the coronavirus CBD, you lost five million dollars? Cause you can't perform? Because you ain't getting no album sales checks and you ain't getting no royalties and no publishing motherfucking checks for them strings and them sales that you got. And them hoes ain't that great either. South Twins say just dropped in number three on the motherfucking hip hop iTunes charts, independent, no push. The motherfucker me naturally made three hundred five, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars naturally. Cause well, I don't want no money for my these features. I'm feeding my team, man. I'm trying to show these young other CEOs and young artists how to put your family on and put your niggas on without necessarily going in your pocket and after the motherfucker restock it. See, you bitch ass nigga, you hate that, don't you? You don't want me to teach my people in Texas how to get the money. You don't want me to teach my people in Texas how to motherfucker utilize their skills and attributes to do features and put other artists on platforms and make they sell better because you want to continue for Texas to be up underneath you. That what you scared of, pussy ass nigga? Yeah, but yeah, it's coming. Yeah, nigga, a hundred features, a hundred songs. I know they made my, my whole record label a natural $150,000 in the first 24 hours. I'm naturally finna post two motherfucking features that JP and motherfucking Bo did last night. No deal, no pushing, no marketing, no tours, none of that shit, making more money than you niggas, getting more honey than you niggas, dropping more cars, having more stars. Matter of fact, let's speak on this. Every nigga, every rich nigga in Atlanta that's doing a motherfucking thing got a fleet of cars and got color cars that niggas know and can identify nobody. What motherfucking car do Young Thug got? See, this nigga so fucking rich, you know? What car? Young Thug bought, bought a Bentley truck two years ago when he signed with 300. We ain't said that Ben Tiger since they go. I don't see that nigga. The last car that nigga bought it was bragging about was a cheap ass motherfucking car that that cost ninety five, eighty thousand dollars. I ain't seen your thug in that Rolls Royce truck. I ain't seen them in a the dun like me and Lucci. Well, your made back motherfucker coop and, and like me and Lucci and, 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 and done around the city. You don't even do have that. What happened to that house you had? They had the motherfucking me living room with the uh, pool in the living room. Room with the uh, pool in the living room. What happened to that? Oh, I remember I seen that motherfucker post the shade room and baller like nah that shit made. Yo